Hello everyone and welcome to Maggie's Possum Journey. Well, a brand new welcome to this brand new episode from the hills of Kodai Canal for you. Well, we start off by showing you how Papa is struggling with putting Maggie on this leash. Struggling not because Maggie is moving around but struggling because this is a new one that he has put around but we made sure that Maggie gets all new leashes. This one was given to her by one of my nieces who actually had a very back interesting story with Maggie who was absolutely terrified of Maggie when Maggie used to be young but then as she saw more of Maggie's videos and she heard a lot of praises from my end her fear of Maggie gradually absolutely disappeared well if you're watching you know this is for you and thanks for the leash Maggie loves it now papa says say bye to mama but who's in the mood of saying bye bye when morning walk is waiting well we decided that we will quickly have a little morning walk for Maggie before we start off with the touristy day we wanted to do so so that we could start going for the sightseeing really early well you know kodai canal is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the southern part of india and there are many people who come in every day to visit this beautiful hill station so naturally all the places which are beautiful and picturesque is absolutely swamped with tourists so we did not want to take any risk and wanted to start really early for our sightseeing but wait before that there was a really adventurous story that is waiting for you all as maggie and all maggie and papa went for walk can you see the two of them have suddenly stood even i kept wondering as i recorded them from high up in the room and i couldn't understand why the two of them suddenly stopped and people also were running out of that direction maggie and papa came back running and maggie had a lot of excitement in her body language as if was ex- wanted to explore what it was i still did not understand what had happened and then look at maggie papa had to pull her back and telling her maggie don't go you won't be able to face the situation well very soon i found out that they found a kettle of bisons that had encountered them in the morning well do you know that the indian goar also commonly known as the bisons which are the tallest species of white wild cattle did you know that the male bison can weigh from 1000 to 1500 kg and a female between 700 to 1000 kg can you believe it the body strength that they have and there you would see a bunch and a kettle of these bisons actually leaving well maggie and papa had quite an adventure and later papa told me that there was also a horse that followed maggie and trying to run that's why both of them just rushed out running when maggie wanted to encounter them papa did not have the courage so papa said just come whatever walk you've had i'll take you later again for the day and once he got her back this time it was papa's duty to groom maggie so every day once maggie is back from her walk she has to have all her paws clean well with wet wipes that are pet friendly and then followed by the brushing and also the powdering that i do every day but today since i had to take in the video well i instructed papa to do this do that and since i had told you all that kodai canal was really cold and chilly and we were going out at 6 in the morning so i told papa you better put in the sweater all the time on maggie i don't want her to catch any kind of cold on these hills and because maggie was feeling cold she very happily accepted the warmth of the sweater had it been a hotter weather trust me she would have not even worn even a thin and light t-shirt on her so we were rest assured that this cute little sweater that we have put on on maggie has giving her a lot of comfort you can see the tail wagging here and there like a ding dong bell the so maggie knew that today's day is highly adventurous first the bisons that ran then the horse that followed her she was wondering what next and so were we because our first destination was this beautiful waterfalls that we had left on the way of entering 
Kodai Canal when we saw it yesterday. We had decided when we were entering that we will come tomorrow morning when the crowd is little less and we will be able to show Maggie and take her closer to the waterfalls as well. Well, all these plannings were done by us but what actually happened made us rather sad. We gave our parents a quick call and we told Maggie, Maggie now that you are ready, you sit down, we will give you some quick breakfast and once everybody is ready, we can go down to the car and have some quick photo sessions. Well, that's what Maggie did. She was all ready and we were waiting for my parents to get ready. She showed me one last time how cute she was looking and how ready she was. And this is something Maggie really loves. I clean her eyes and I give her a good head massage. Almost 10, 12, 15 or oh, even more times a day. Well, Maggie is already wearing, waiting for her grandparents also to get ready and she's like, where are they? Why are they not coming in? So, to let you know, my parents gradually came out and because it is morning, we didn't want to hurry them too much. But it was so bright. Just 10 minutes back when Maggie went out for the morning walk, it was all dark and almost nightish. And now you can see it was so bright. So I was wondering, my God, these hills really are unpredictable. I being from the hills altogether, I know these hills and their unpredictable nature. So I said, okay, let me take you, Maggie. I'm sorry for the non-captures of this camera because I had to hold Maggie on one side and my camera on the other. And Maggie kept pulling me. So I didn't know what actually at the end of the day was getting captured at this moment. So there were many off frames. But you know why I kept them? Because just to let you know, when, once Maggie is on one hand, nothing is perfect. But these imperfections make my moment and memories with Maggie so perfect altogether. Maggie quickly hopped onto the car and she said, Where are the other parties? Why are you not behaving like tourists and being on time? Let's go! <laughs> Maggie still sat and gave me a lot of poses inside the car. And my camera was on, just clicking Maggie, capturing these beautiful photos. And won't you say she's looking amazing and so cute in the red sweater? Please let me know how do you think Maggie is looking. I'm sure you all love her look. Let me know more of what you think of the videos. That would make me understand how well you are able to connect with our lives. And it will help me to tell you more stories and frame them in the way that you like best and what you would like to hear it out. Also, I was a little curious. My husband and I, also my parents, when I was a child, we all are early risers and we love to get up in the morning and we love to travel. But a lot of people don't really like their mornings and love to sleep rather when they are on the vacations. Which kind of a traveler are you? Do let me know. I believe getting up in the morning is one of the best things that can happen. For example, this mist and this fog, can you see? Just on the car, the entire car was full of mist. And now Maggie was all ready with her grandparents sitting right behind and we started the day. Really excited. Well, our resort had this beautiful sunshine morning light that was coming through the rays that were falling through these pine trees. But as we came into our drive pathway, we realized that many places were still foggy. Well, the mighty fog is here, our first destination in the morning. And this is the Silver Cascade Waterfalls. This picturesque waterfalls is situated along Kodai Madurai Road that is extremely popular and offers a welcoming sight for all as they enter and leave Kodai Canal. Isn't this beautiful? But do you know what was the saddest part? We really hurried in the morning, but we were not that early, you know. People were crowded in the place. And when places are so crowded, it is not safe to take Maggie out. So we had to very unfortunately leave her in the car. And I said sorry for a million times to Maggie because it is because of her safety. And she gets really excited when people are around. She goes to say hello. But you know, it is very sad. In India, I've observed that there's so many people who do not like dogs around them and cannot understand their love and affection. So we let Maggie be in the car, which she comfortably was. As a penalty though, 
I got her this amazing cute winter headgear hairband call it whatever you want and Maggie immediately knew that although they didn't take me they got me a gift can you see my little doll she's looking precious beyond the world beyond words and beyond everything Maggie you're the prettiest soul ever look at her look at that bow oh Maggie this is amazing and I promise for the next destination we will only go to a place that is pet friendly Meanwhile, Maggie also had a good company to her grandparents and their cold shield that they had. My mother and father, although their entire lives they have been in hill stations, they felt very cold in Kodai Canal and covered themselves with all mufflers and sweaters and scarves. And look at Maggie hugging her grandfather for all the warmth of his body and it was such a beautiful sight to see. Amazing! My mother trying to cover her head again inside a closed car. Well, I don't know why were they feeling so cold. It was rather funny. Well, we were heading towards our next destination, but suddenly we saw this amazing amount of falls, an amazing amount of fog that had clouded up the car. Hills are so unpredictable. What do you say? Have you been to one of these hill stations where suddenly it's sunny and suddenly you just cannot see the front of your vision? You have no vision because it is full of cloud. Well, I love the hills and they are my most favorite in the whole wide world. The next destination for Maggie was really amazing, which I will let you know in the next episode. But do watch out all our videos and even our shorts and just shower us with all your love. Some comments would be really encouraging, you know. So if you like the video, do give us lots of love. Till then, bye-bye and hugs from Maggie.